everybody. Travis Chandler of Chandler Gaming back here with the next episode of the Soldier Series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. That being said, let's just get down to the video. There we go. Okay, here we go. My old sergeant told me that Cerberus started out as an Alliance Black Op. Unread wow. messages at your private terminal, Commander. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. All right, so the scientists made it back to the Crucible. That's great. Taylor wants to, Jacob wants to meet us in the Citadel. Tomorrow's going for the front lines. And, um... Sorry, High Command, I uh, got a squad sent to the front lines as well. Okay, whatever. We do need to go to the Citadel, though, to turn some stuff in. nothing here all right whatever it's not like I really need to explore the galaxy but still I like to do it because Found it all, sweet. Back Reaper weapon, we'll take that. For something for Glyph, we'll go down and see what we can get. The upgrade from Glyph. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas Relay. Oh, we got two of them. Sweet. We can do weapon or ammo will do weapon damage. Door or power damage. We'll take store discount. There we go. All right. Head back to the Citadel. We're going to turn some things in, talk to Jacob, and we will see about talking to the Quarians. Yeah. 
You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes, Commander. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garva. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard, thank you. I'm sure that'll help with uh, any operation we have going. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an ego minor. Spectre status recognized. Please, select. one moment, please. at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but... I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Packet keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. I think I got enough to get me some weapon upgrades. Mara's at the embassy office. Hell yeah, we'll talk to her. Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. I gotta go there anyway to get to the uh, Citadel or the Spectre office. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. There she is. Okay. Heavy losses are mounting as human. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know, there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. 
We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But, following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? You yourself killed a Reaper on the Citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only follow such bravery. Will Flair be all right in the Monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaer will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaer saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things. But Goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire, soon enough. Okay. My wife just sent my back to duty, and I'm about to be shipped out too. I was told you might be in trouble. Of course. Oh, I still can't quite afford the Black Widow, but I can get the Turian specific toxin. Yeah, I'm saving for that Black Widow because it is a, it's a good weapon, you know. Now we gotta go back to the, um. Oh, Miranda's in the apartments. Okay, we need to see her. That's it. Okay, so we need to go to the Presidium, then back to the hospital, and then we can get out of here. In this cluster and the Salian Nebula. Spectre status recognized. 
Please select one. I forgot Miranda'd be here. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. After obtaining a cure to the Jaffage, Krogan leaders have announced an alliance with the Turian military. I got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. You'll have your access, Miranda, but I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something that just obeyed orders. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how. You brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No. They can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Okay. Now we go back to the hospital so we can give the toxin to the doctor. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Puerta Memorial Hospital. Stan Palavin is very busy. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station. A poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. The general might pull through because of this. Okay. We got that turned in. Now we can get out of here. Spectre 
Master status recognized. Please One select. moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core, Private Talavi? No, ma'am. Then consider this a serious assignment. Intel's expecting a Cerberus raid. Cerberus? Cerberus? Is there a problem? I thought we were fighting Reapers, ma'am. Give it a week. You could be. Thank you again, Commander. I appreciate the assist. Okay. Okay. Well, we're ready to talk to the Quarians, looks like. All right. Nothing over there. All right. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our home world. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our home world and advanced AI technology. I'm glad to hear that you're finally reclaiming your home world. Actually, our timing may have been premature. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system, when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And when the Geth are weakened, you strike hard. It's a hell of a risk, Commander. But if you can pull it off... Just be ready, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vas Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. 
We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll help your people win this war, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. Okay. Let's go up to the cabin because I know Allie wants to talk. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... and Zen's ideas, the new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up, that's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just... I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Lounge, Garrison, Gavik are in the lounge. We'll see what's up with them. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But, when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then, along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vandomai. And the Jatil turned against the Jah. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. That. <laughs> Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. 
It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers? I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. Hey, that's true. Garrus is right about that. Garrus is totally right about that. Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. Okay. Disable this dreadnought. We have to take Tally with us. But we're going to bring Garrus with us too. We're going to OG this. Here we go. There you go. There you go. Use proximity mine. Who you? Now we need to get Tally going. Charge speed. And drone specialist, okay. You, you, you. There we go. Since we got the drone specialist, 
We'll max out the drones. Rockets. Okay, because I screwed up, I gotta do this again. So, recharge, you, you, okay, you, 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 we're gonna do. Well, really, it wouldn't have, really wouldn't have heard it anyway if we did detonate, you know. We'll upgrade the combat drone. Okay. We'll do duration, damage and range. Chain lightning. That's what we'll do. All right. Sabotage. Get it up to three. Long with energy drain. Radius. There we go. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem.
this gets kind of creepy that you're walking upside down and shit. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance dreadnought. Tally, you're gonna like the view. Better than a vid? <laughs> Much. Now it's been a while since I've done this, so I know you're supposed to go up there, but there's like a hidden ladder or something that you gotta find. There it is. the controls got it you're clear to board see any action all quiet so far they haven't detected us yet here let me see if I can get this open in the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. How come I don't get a new gun? Find one in your size. Okay. Where do we go? Oh, right here. So where are we headed? We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Oh, vents. Always the vents. You did fine at the collector base. I got set on fire! Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed for Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. We'll make them pay for that. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, we're gonna have some fun with the sniper rifle. Though the Black Widow would be funner to use, but... What the hell? Take that. Sensor data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Get have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. They just need to hold out a little longer. Got the pulse rifle, which is nice. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and turn the tables on these bastards. operational yeah I made those hunters my bitch didn't I <laughs> data oh signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right, but how do we get there? The Get have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But... The Get still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile Get on the other side of the doors. They're pushing soft hunters as well! Heads up, more on the 
right. Thank you. Let's get to the maintenance shaft before more reinforcements arrive. Garrus along for this mission. It's you get some funny, funny dialogue from those two. do here. Alex.
saw nothing up here. Is that you? Where'd the fucking door close on me? Come on, man. There. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on, the drive course shouldn't be far. Yeah, I didn't think it was that way. Um... controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it's sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Legion helped us fight the Reapers before. There's no way it would have agreed to this. Your caution is understandable. Once freed, we will submit to any restraints you deem necessary. I never thought I'd say this, but... It's good to see you again. Likewise, Creator Zora. So what is this thing? It uses our networking architecture to broadcast the old machine command signal to all Geth, simultaneously. Then getting you out of there will shut off the Reaper signal. Wait, you cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Yeah. Side of the room, you said? Yes, deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and rewrote the heretics for what? Nothing? No, you successfully rewrote the heretics. The decision to ally with the old machines was difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, 
It would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there. <sighs> Got it. Tali Zora to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Disabled the Dreadnought's Drive Core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Alert! Geth reinforcements incoming! Try the disruptor ammo for. Understood. I'm bringing the Bashar fleet into support position. Whenever you're ready, Admiral Farrell. Good. Let's see what the Quarians can do.
dealt with that dreadnought. They fired on the dreadnought while you were on board? I can't help them win this war if they're gonna go off half-cocked like this. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. I understand that you ignored the plan and charged in without thinking. The Dreadnought was a pup. <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Chorus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion helped me in the fight against the Collectors. So did your pistol. Should I worry about that? I don't think you want to continue this line of thought, Admiral. Legion is my friend. More importantly, it's our best source of information on the Geth. The scientific benefits... ...are off the table. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Geralt. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh! We've lost barriers! Our comm system is jammed! Can anyone hear this? We have death fighters incoming! Please, if anyone can hear this, we need help! We have hull breaches! Life support! Failing! The death recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. However advanced your friend is, it's still a Geth. A Geth who just saved your fleet. And I wish I could have known it better. But right now, we cannot afford trust. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. All right, so I'm going to call it for this video. So um, next video, we'll deal with the Quarian homeworld. So hope you all had fun. I did, and I'll see you all next video.